What's up, YouTube? It is 4.28 a.m. May 19th, uh, Thursday. Mavericks lost yesterday. Very unfortunate, so uh, there's that. Yeah, I'm about to go to a CrossFit gym. Let me show you what I got over here. Yeah, that's going to be my pre-workout right there. A little bit of coffee. I got all my shit packed for work. Got my breakfast. Uh, I'm going to shower at the gym. I'm going to talk a little bit more about the gym here in a bit, but it's kind of walking me through my morning. Oh, yeah. It's getting bigger. Oh, yeah. Do one more. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm one of those. There you go. All right, there you go. Pre-workout complete. Like I said, one of my videos, I don't really, I don't really fuck with pre-workout. I just do coffee. It's in downtown. See how it goes. Pretty hype. All right, y'all stay tuned.
What's up, YouTube? Hola, que tal? What's going on, everybody? All right, another CrossFit gym review. I went to D-Town CrossFit. It's actually May 20th, about 4 o'clock. Oh, I actually went up to D-Town CrossFit uh, this Wednesday. It's currently Friday right now. But I went up, I went up there Wednesday, and I was going to do a class, but this time I didn't call like I did the last gym. Um, but I just they just... It was best that I just go in the next day, do a morning class, could it be like a tier two workout. And I really wanted to get like the best experience possible. So I actually went Thursday morning at 5 a.m. instead of Wednesday. There was just three of us there. No, the four of us there at, um, on Thursday at 5 a.m. The warm up was great. Overall, overall workout was pretty intense. One thing that I liked though, uh, they while we're warming up, Alex has told us uh, the current six weeks that they're on, they're focusing more on endurance more volume they're getting the members ready for murph uh, which is memorial day um so i thought that was pretty interesting i thought that was pretty cool uh pretty i would say advanced kind of programming he said the next uh six weeks would be more about strength so i thought that was pretty cool they're not just in there just doing all kinds of random shit i'm really just trying to give an overview moving on i'm gonna run through my notes real quick cleaning this five star for sure restrooms the floor the equipment everything was clean uh again i'm an attention to detail fuck i'm very uh microscopic about things so <laughs> for sure clean uh try to get finish this kind of fast uh the environment the overall environment meaning just kind of how you feel going in but the day prior when i walked in got to scope it out definitely like uplifting, like kind of place you want to be. So five stars on the environment. The members, I went at 5 a.m. So there weren't too many people there. There's just four of us. But the 6 a.m. class, there's actually quite a few. Um, they look like they're more in their late 20s, probably up to like mid 30s. Oh, and then even the day prior, same thing. It looked like they're kind of more in their mid 30s. I don't care. It's whatever. I mean, I, I don't really give a damn. Uh, but but they all seem pretty chill. Uh, they did say that they had one girl. I think she, I think she's competed at the CrossFit Games. It's like the Super Bowl of the NFL. So the CrossFit Games is a pretty big deal. Uh, but they had one girl who did compete there. That another woman that she was retired. Like she had went as a team with with people. I thought that was pretty interesting. Give the members a five star, you know. Um, and then the equipment. Pretty big on equipment. I was going to give this a five star. I mean, these dudes had like everything. You could tell that some of this stuff had been worn down, but it was all, but it was all still like well maintained. Like the racks, the bars, uh, the barbells, you know, the salt bite, GHD, everything, everything looked like it was like still working great. Coaching. So Alex, so he's actually the owner of the gym. You know, whenever he'd come and give advice, it definitely felt like it was personable. Uh, genuine and so he had helped me out with my push press because I wasn't necessarily driving with my legs I went down my push press to come up and twist my hands keep my wrist straight Alex is great I really I really, I really liked him he wasn't there on some sell you type shit or like why wow, you need to sign up and join I always appreciate that when people aren't uh, just trying to sell you some shit and then the actual workout the warm-up was great when I checked the video on my phone warm-up was like 36 minutes uh, maybe not consecutively and the actual workout was like less than 15 minutes about 14 minutes and so it was it was intense I, I thought it was really cool how they used something called wodify w-o-d-i-f-y i believe so when you become a member of d-town crossfit you kind of you get on this platform you see what's available almost like scheduling a reservation somewhere you know you can see the times what's being offered all that great stuff uh, but I had never done muscle ups, but he, he helped me out. It was intense. It was great. Really enjoyed it. Um, as far as this one to the tiger dens, I mean, I don't think it's really too fair to compare because Saturday's workouts are more like more about their, their partner wads. And this one was more solo. So the workouts, I feel like you can't really compare them, but they were both great. This one was great time for some of the more of the miscellaneous things. So parking was free there. Uh, it's actually 0.2 mile from the last gym I went to, Tiger Dens. So if, if I walked, it'd be like 11 minutes. I mean, it's literally like a two-second drive. 
which is kind of cool. But yeah, park, parking is free. Um, so another, another thing aside from parking is the price. I figured I should talk about the price, but Tiger Dens is 1950 for a year, and D-Town CrossFit is 2000 Yes, that is a lot of money, but this is just a totally different sport. Um, I'm not saying it's necessarily affordable, but um, this is something you're going to be looking at if you're getting into this kind of sport. Me, though, not that I would pick. I mean, I, I couldn't make my decision on which one I'd like more. I think I like the energy a little bit more at Tiger Dens. D-Town CrossFit does have commercial AC, so it is well ventilated in there. It's cool. Uh, you know, they got fans, so or not commercial, but like industrial, unless it's the same shit. But you can see all the tubing and all the pipes up top, and it's, uh, it's like the real fucking deal in there. Um, but... Again, I can't necessarily pick the two. I really like I really like them both. If I could, I'd like to do like some half of my workouts at Tiger Dens, the other half at uh, D Town CrossFit. Other than that, that's about it. That all that I have. I appreciate everyone watching. Leave a comment. If you have any questions? You want me to try out a spot? Let me know. Um, Please subscribe. Again, thanks for watching, supporting, following my journey. We'll talk next time. See you later.